Maryland's economy, the unemployment rate is up again. The new numbers just released overnight. The state's jobless rate now stands at 11 percent, and that is well above the national average of just over 8 percent. And the number of employed Rhode Islanders is now at its lowest level in 15 years. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is live with the mobile newsroom in Portsmouth, where we understand that he just caught up with the governor for his reaction. Sean? Just when state leaders were hoping that the unemployment, that the, excuse me, there's a car here. I, I was just a little bit concerned about that car hitting me. Just when unemployment leaders, or state leaders rather, were hoping that the unemployment rate here in Rhode, in Rhode Island would start sliding down, just when that was hopeful, now the unemployment rate has ticked back up just slightly in February. With Rhode Island's latest unemployment rate now up slightly to 11% compared to 6.9% in neighboring Massachusetts and 8.3% nationally, Rhode Island faces big challenges. Governor Lincoln Chafee understands that educating students here is not enough. Keeping those educated students after they graduate here is a challenge. Many of them, unfortunately, go to other states and that's a challenge. We have to reverse that. But it becomes a vicious cycle. The college graduates leave because the jobs are elsewhere. So Governor Chafee and his economic development team have their work cut out for them. And I believe just work on what we have that other states don't have. Certainly tourism's a big uh, area that we can grow. Uh, the defense industry with the birthplace of the United States Navy here uh, and with Raytheon and Electric Boat grow that defense industry. And of course, what's happening with the Brown University Med School and what we know is the meds and the eds, the education and the medical, that's a growth area. But the governor is optimistic that major improvements in Rhode Island's infrastructure, an expanded runway at Green Airport, new roads at Quonset Point, better train service, all will play to Rhode Island's advantage. The stage is set, the table is set, and now with the thawing of the economy, that rock frozen solid uh, lack of confidence in the national economy, as we see that thawing, uh, we're poised for to take advantage of hopefully some growth in jobs. That last phrase there, hopefully the growth in jobs. I can almost imagine that somewhere deep down inside, the governor is grateful that Rhode Island's state motto is hope. Live in Portsmouth with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.